A video of practical drills organized by the Special Police in Weinan, Shanxi Province has been circulating on the internet. With the intention to train to protect the 20th National Congress, the exercises show the Special Police using a variety of weapons and equipment to maintain social stability. Netizens were shocked, questioning, are there really so many people who oppose the 20th Congress? Who are the opposing forces? According to the official media, from August 2nd to 3rd, the local public security bureau held a combat demonstration at its training base. The confrontation drill was carried out in realistic scenarios with real forces and gear with the theme of protecting the 20th National Congress, keeping the peace with the loyalty. In fact, the theme is a political mission set by the Communist Party's political and legal committee from top to bottom. As a result, public prosecutors and law enforcement agencies across the country are making related arrangements or planning the rehearsals. The footage, published by the local government, showed special forces using various weapons and equipment during the drill. Nettison said they got a chill down their spine watching these scenes, which had all been seen before when the police suppressed unarmed protesters, including using the same methods of violence. For example, a man was beaten to the ground and a group of bandit-like police rounded up and punched and kicked him. Another netizen said that it was actually rare to see special police rounding up terrorists. Most often, they are targeting ordinary civilians. Here are scenes from recent protests cracked down on by the Chinese Communist authorities using special forces. A property in Wuxi was supposed to be delivered at the end of December 2022, but its construction stopped half a year ago. On August 8th, homeowners came to protest but were dispersed by the authorities. Those special forces knew they would hurt people and had brought ambulances along so that they could send the injured to the hospital. In late June and early July, hundreds of victims from all over China who were depositors of Henan Village Bank gathered in Zhengzhou, Henan Province to demonstrate. As a result, many special police officers were deployed to suppress the demonstrators. In mid-June, shopkeepers at Shanghai's Chipu Wholesale Garment Market took to the streets to protest. They were met by many special police officers deployed by the authorities to maintain social stability. In mid-June, the Yantai Development District in Shandong reduced teachers' wages to a level not seen in more than a decade. Teachers went on strike to protest, and a large contingent of special police rushed to the scene to maintain stability. Here are some comments from netizens. The number of times these people bully civilians to maintain stability is definitely far greater than the number of times they fight criminals. It seems that it's not without reason that the expenditure on stability is greater than the expenditure on the military. A secret meeting of the 7th Standing Committee is held in Beidai He. Following the August 1st reception at the Ministry of Defense on July 31st, the 7th Standing Committee disappeared from public view, and the party media didn't publish any reports of the Communist Party leaders attending public events. It's speculated that the Communist Party's meeting in Beidai He may have taken place quietly. Those who plan to visit Beidai He and those who plan to go to Qinghuangdao, stop coming. It's forbidden to get off the highway right now. There is a full restriction on traffic. The top brass of the Chinese Communist Party has been out of sight since July 31st, and the local train station and highway in Beidai He are under strict control. As of August 8th, the seven members of the standing committee, including Xi Jinping, have disappeared for more than a week, but there's still no news from Beidai He. On August 8th, the chairman of the National Committee of the Chinese Democratic Party said that Beijing was in a mess and Xi Jinping was sitting in the crater of a volcano for not playing by the rules of the modern world and thereby creating a lot of trouble. Pelosi's visit to Taiwan has caused a major setback for Xi Jinping's prestige as well. If the incident continues to fester, it will affect the 20th National Congress and even give others an excuse to get rid of Xi. If Xi Jinping cannot secure a majority of the Politburo Standing Committee and members, his re-election at the 20th National Congress will be subject to many restrictions.